New Year. This is Dr. Maria Rothenberger from the Miracles Happen Fertility Center at drmariarothenberger.com. I've got a little with me today in the back, so he might pop his head in. Not sure. We'll see. It's playing in there. This is week 49 of the compassion series that I was doing for 2020. And <laughs> there he is. It is now New Year's, New Year's Day, 2021. Yay! Bye bye to 2020. Can you say hi, Bryce? Say hi. <laughs> okay. This is the last few weeks of the compassion series moving on into 2021 because I skipped a few weeks in 2020. I'm using this book called A Year of Living with More Compassion. And the quote this week is by His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. He says, I am the source of most of my suffering because of the habits of my own mind. Now, I know that this is hard to, to take sometimes. You know, we hear that all of our suffering is our fault and we want to go, ew, no, it's not. Things just happen to me. Well, when things happen to you, you still have a choice how to think about it, how to move through it, how to experience it. Not to say that things don't suck, because they do. I'm going to give you an example a little bit in a couple minutes here of my own self-induced suffering. Things that happened over the holidays that I had to work through. And I'll use that as an example. So how this, um, th the theme of this week is self-induced suffering and how that quote came about was, and I just learned this, was that when the Dalai Lama was just learning, um, his, he was in his discipleship, his teacher told him that he was, he was reciting the Four Noble Truths, which is a Buddhist uh, philosophy or learning. He was reciting the Four Noble Truths with, with too much ego. And that is when he paused and said this thing. I'll repeat it for you. He said, I am the source of most of my suffering because of the habits of my own mind. Now, I'm going to tell you that the holidays for 2020 were weird because of COVID. We had to social distance a lot, couldn't go a lot of places, a lot of places closed. We did break the rules a little bit. And my family came up, but we all, you know, were taking temperatures and testing and all that so that we made sure we were safe um, and we didn't go anywhere except with each other when we were together for the holidays. Um, even though we couldn't do all these extra things that we normally do for the holidays, it was still, I still had some stressful moments. And so rather than going through the compassion practice in the book this week, I just want to give you my own because it's really simple. So I'll just take the first part of this. It says, whenever you find yourself being reactive with feelings of anger, criticism, blame, and fear, you can use the breath to calm your mind, your body and your mind. So let me tell you what happened. There was one particular day where I was, I make a gingerbread house every year. And this one was a, a gingerbread RV and it was like stellar. Well, I came downstairs to find that the dog had eaten half of it. Awesome. And there were pee accidents from humans and fur babies that I had to clean up, including the cat peeing on the dog's bed because the cabinet where her litter box is was closed. And I had asked people, please leave it open. So I took it outside the dog bed to spray it down with the hose and I stepped in poop outside. So lots of pee and poop stuff. It was a wonderful day. And then, as I'm baking, rebaking these gingerbread RV pieces, RV means recreational vehicle, for those who don't know. It's a, just a camper. Um, as I was rebaking these pieces, I heard a crash in the other room, and it was my son, well, my oldest son, not this one, my oldest son, who had raced around the house like he normally does, and I had asked him to slow down several times that day, and he crashed into my favorite candy dish and shattered it. And 
then the waterworks came. <laughs> then I was crying and tearful and my husband walked in five minutes later and he's like, are you okay? Everything okay in here? And I just bust out in tears. And he's like, you need a hug? Yeah, yeah, I needed a hug, yeah. So here's what I did. I was um, being reactive. I was having feelings of anger. I was critical. I was blaming. I was fearful. I was so not in peace. And so what I did was I went up to my room to a quiet space and I used one of my favorite sayings by Wayne Dyer. He said, look in the mirror and say to yourself, you can choose peace instead of this. And I did that practice over and over. Maria, you can choose peace instead of this. You can choose peace instead of this. You can choose peace instead of this. Because I have a choice. When shit happens to me, or any of us, we still have a choice how we're going to react to it. That is your practice for this week. We only have a few more weeks to go in this 52 weeks. 52 quotes. Oh, bonus. I'm just going to head on over here really quick. But you can still hear me. Bonus, I'll show you the gingerbread RV that I made. How's that? <laughs> I couldn't finish it exactly how I wanted to because the dog ate half and I lost time. But here we go. I'll show it to you as best I can here with the reflection. There it is. Boop, boop. Those are family members. Family members. Here you go. There's the gingerbread RV. <laughs> happiest of holidays, happiest of New Year's. May you choose peace instead of anything else that you're feeling. Say bye-bye.